the member from Windsor West. Question is to the Premier. Premier, today is yet another Win Wednesday in our public elementary schools. Congratulations for having a day named after you, Premier. And it's also the day ETFO is ramping up their work to rule action by pulling out of voluntary extracurriculars. Education workers want to support students in the classroom as well as volunteer for extracurricular activities outside of their work duties. Ontario families want quality education and extracurricular activities, but this government continues to cause chaos in our schools and is forcing students and families to pay the price for a minister who can't get the job done. The Minister of Education has lost all credibility and needs to go. Will the Premier admit that the Minister of Education is failing our kids and causing chaos Question. in our schools? Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I would remind the, uh, the member that there are three agreements in place with most of the teachers in the province, Mr. Speaker. I just remind the, uh, the member of that. And, you know, as I, I said earlier, that the, uh, the party opposite, the Conservatives, don't understand the collective bargaining process, and I understand that, Mr. Speaker. I understand they, they don't believe in it, so they don't understand it. But, Mr. Speaker, I would have thought that the NDP actually would have gotten it, that they actually would understand the collective bargaining process, Mr. Speaker. And given that there are three agreements in place, they would understand that we have been able to come to agreements. And this Minister of Education is actually very, very skilled at her job, Mr. Speaker. The fact is, this is a difficult process. The only way we're going to get an agreement is at the table. We're at the table, and I hope that very soon we will have those agreements. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Just a note to the Premier: to bargain, you actually have to stay at the table. So there's a lesson for you. Back to the Premier, Speaker. Contrary to the minister's claims, which change daily, there have been many cuts to the classroom. This government brags about its plan to cut 500 million. Wait for it from the classroom. The Premier should be ashamed of her government's record of taking away special education resources from kids that need it the most. $22.5 million, Speaker. Our kids are paying the price for this government's neglect of education and the failure of this minister to get the job done to avoid chaos in our schools. Our kids de deserve better, minister and it's of time for the minister to go. Will the Premier immediately cease issuing pink slips to education workers and instead issue a pink, a pink slip to her Minister of Education? Well, Mr. Speaker, you know, um, I got involved in provincial politics because of education, right. because I believe so strongly that reinvesting in our education system after eight years. Thank you. We've watched, Mr. Speaker, in this province over the last 10 years as test scores have gone up, as kids have gotten more support, Mr. Speaker, as more kids are graduating from high school. And as I said, when we came into office, 68% of kids were graduating from high school. Now 84% of kids are graduating from high school, Mr. Speaker. That's a huge, huge improvement. And that's at the core of this discussion. We need to continue to improve our education system, Mr. Speaker. That's why it's so important that we engage in a respectful collective bargaining Answer, process, the member from that we Prince have Hastings that relationship with order. our education workers and our teachers, Mr. Speaker. We're going to retain that because we have engaged in a respectful process. The only place to get the deal is at the table, and we're at the table. Thank you. 